Hello, good morning. I hope I'm good. And uh, today we have a new lesson. Okay, but firstly, let me share my screen with you. Okay, now I think you can share my screen. Okay, I think that's in uh, the first part we have covered in the first video and the second video here. Okay, try to cover the second part. Okay, that's in only on the fertile lands. Only on the fertile lands by the Nile could early Egyptians grow crops of wheat and barley. Again, this part, okay, let's try to underline, okay, the fertile lands, okay, that's in the Nile River. The Nile River could early Egyptian grow. So here, that's in Egyptian grow crops of wheat and barley. Okay, and uh, barley. Okay, so here that's in the most important. The fertile lands that mean the rich lands. Fertile lands, the rich lands by the Nile could early Egyptians. So here that's in the Nile made the Egypt or made the Egyptians could grow crops of wheat and barley. Okay, because of course you have Nile River, you can agriculture everything. Okay, so here is the Egyptian, the early Egyptians grew crops and barley. To the ancient Egyptians, Egyptians, the Nile was the giver of life, the giver of life, because they could get, they could do everything by the water. Okay, the giver of life. So here, the ancient Egyptians, the Nile was the giver of life. The authority of early Egyptian leaders was based on their ability to provide water for crops. That's mean, that's mean, that's it. Each leader, he tried to measure his, his strength, okay, by how ability he could try to cover or control the Nile River. So here is in the authority of early or Egyptian leaders was based on, was based on their ability, okay, to provide water for crops. Once you a strong leader, you can provide more water for crops. You are a weak leader, so you couldn't afford enough water for crops. So here, this and over time, they built more complex irrigation systems. Okay, they built or invent more complex irrigation systems. After that, we have to move into the toward civilization. Toward civilization here is in the early Egyptian, we were developing an advanced civilization in Thomas Long Lyre. So here, that's in, okay, that's. Uh, okay, that's here we go. Uh, oh, oh, yes, the early Egyptians were developing an advanced civilization because you have my river or you have water, so you have a permanent houses, so you could make a civilization in towns along the Nile. They built temples as tombs, temples as tombs to hold the bodies of those who had died, who had died. So here you have to know that the temples, okay. What about the temples? Okay, that's an as tombs. Why they made tombs by two whole people? Okay, that's right. Here we go. Yes, okay, that's in two whole bodies of rulers who had buried. And the early lighting appears on these temples and tombs. The early writing appears in these tombs and temples. They mined copper for tool making and gold for decorative art. So here they mined, okay, from the miners, copper for tool making. Okay, so you have to know that um, uh, copper, okay, for tool making, but gold, gold for decorated, gold for decorated. Okay, so here that's in farming along the Nile River made all these advances possible. Okay, made these advances possible. Why possible? Because of course you have primary water in the fertile soils in the rich lands of the Nile Delta and Nile Valley, farmers grew saplers 
surplus, sorry, surplus crops of wheat and barley. So here, because of course, you have a rich land of Nile River, the Nile Delta and Nile Valley. Okay, could the farmers grew surplus? Of course, you remember what does mean surplus? That's in uh, more than or enough crops. Okay, surplus crops. Okay, of wheat and barley. Of course, because you have rich land. After that, they used donkeys to carry a, to carry grain to storehouses in town. Use donkeys to carry. Okay, so you have to focus on the used what to carry storehouses in towns, the used donkeys, the used donkeys, okay. Here is, you will use donkeys. Okay, after that, the Egyptians ground the wheat into flour for making bread. Okay, ground what? Ground wheat into flour for making bread. Having a surplus of grain allowed farmers in some towns to use the surplus grain of trade. Of course, surplus is mean extra crops. Extra crops, okay, the same grain allow farmers in some town to use the surplus grain for trade. Of course, you have extra crops you can trade with us. So here the same trade took place on the Nile River. Trade took place, okay, on the Nile River. Of course, you know that the Nile River is in common or shared between many countries. So you can use it as transportation. So here after that, you have trade and travel along the Nile made it possible for some towns and grow in cities. So here, the same trade and travel along the Nile River made it possible, made it possible for some towns and grow into cities. After that, that's in by uh, 3,100 uh, before Christ, Egypt consist, consisted of two kingdoms, Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt. Upper Egypt and Lower Egypt. Okay, thank you. Now we have finished. Okay, and uh, uh, inshallah, we'll try to give you more more uh, explanation next uh, session. Inshallah. Thank you so much for you. Thank you. Bye bye.